Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Peter Jackson's career, we will be talking about The Frighteners. The Frighteners is about Frank Bannister, an architect who has the ability to see, hear, and communicate with ghosts. He uses this ability to con unsuspecting people and charge them a rather handsome fee for exercising the ghosts. This perfect plan goes to waste when the Grim Reaper appears and has the ability to kill not only the living, but also the dead prompting Frank to begin his investigation. It has been a total of roughly three months since my last review. I had announced a hiatus on Twitter, and I hadn't written anything for this movie because it was the last movie I'd seen. And um, when that started, I had no idea it was going to be three months, so I just figured I'd just give everything a break. And when I came back, I was surprised rather surprised to know that this movie really sticks with you or at least it did with me this movie really is a good story it's probably even safe to say that this movie holds up considerably well knowing during production this film took a lot more special effects work than most of any other film at that time the creative team the direction and even the pacing is all well worth noting here when the film starts it begins in a hyperactive way where you barely get a chance to know the characters but you get to know what's going on it sets up the story fast and the rules are very much established after that, we meet our main character, Frank Bannister, and we're set and ready to go. But Frank is kind of one of those characters you're not sure if you really want to follow him because he looks uninspired, and it's not without good reason. The style of this movie presents itself uh, very well constructed, and it generates a mood that can be easily mistaken for someone else's work, like Robert Zemeckis or Tim Burton. And... Tim Burton is the first person that came to mind for me, especially with the boisterous music and the fast-paced editing and, and the swooping of camera angles and such. It really added that effect like, man, I feel like I'm watching another movie other than Peter Jackson's. I don't know if that's going to be an insult to Peter. It's just the vibe I got. Peter really creates a story character driven film, which ends up being my favorite type of film. The plot and characters go hand in hand, where to me, the characters complement the story and the story helps the characters. Frank is mostly known as a con man, so you can imagine while he is in this skeptical town he calls home, when the real danger hits, the Grim Reaper, he has a really hard time getting anyone to really believe him. So when someone does, believe him like Lucy Linsky, she has other fish to fry like Milton Summers, a eccentric FBI agent who has an axe to grind against Frank and stands mostly in the way from uncovering this mystery and what's happening in the town. The story is tightly wound with barely a character or unused and this really works in favor of the movie. I would say if you're someone who likes to pick apart the movie and really like guess the mystery of the murders and why they're happening, you could probably see the twist coming a mile away. But it really works for this, for this hyper-intense, quixotic, weird tale that's just having fun doing what it's doing. The fact that this movie is impressive to me, I can imagine was impressive for its time. It leaves you wondering, enjoying, and you kind of leave it knowing you had a ton of fun. At least that's my perspective. I would say if you're looking for something to watch and want to see something fun weird, quixotic, just overall a good time in general, I would definitely recommend this one. For that, I loved The Frighteners and would own on DVD. With all that said, I thank you all so much for watching, and if you have seen The Frighteners, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time. Bye.